Hey, it's your girl Kyra's Crystal Vision. Hey, give me some that, babies. Boop. Oh, grrr. hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sending you so much love and good vibes, babies. Thank you to my OGs, my in-betweens, and welcome new subscribers. Welcome to the family, babies. I love you. I'm always sending you so much love and beautiful energy. You are amazing. Know that I'm always proud of you. And remember, babies, you can do it. No matter how hard it gets, you can do it, okay? Now, reminder, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. My readings are timeless. So whenever you peer into them, they will resonate accordingly. Okay, my babies. I pray that whenever you're peering into my reading, whether during the week, the weekend, day, night, evening, you just can't sleep, that it helps you. And it is such a beautiful pleasure. And I am eternally grateful that this is a part of my purpose and I can help you guys, okay? Along your self-evolution, okay? Sacred, spiritual, individualized journeys of co-creating, alchemizing, manifesting, healing, and much more, okay? I love you, love you, love you. Absolutely do, babies. All right, let's get to the reading. But before we do, we call upon God, our angels that are assigned to us. We call upon our ancestors, spirit team, passed on loved ones, high-ranking deities and Orishas. Yes, that love us, protect us, guide us every single day. First and foremost, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take a minute. Amen. And we ask of you during this message and even after this message to please protect us from any evil eye, black magic, witchcraft, negative projections, negative energy, false narratives, gluttony, gossip, lies, rumors, untruths, unclean spirits, lower deities, or anything that is being sent to us out of jealousy, envy, rage, or to negatively impact our lives, well-being, or the well-being of our children and our loved ones. We ask of you immediately, instantaneously to send it back and to remove it. Mote it be, amen, immediately. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, and please block any interferences during this reading. All right, my love. So let's see what's going on in the present moment moving forward. I'm being told to start from the bottom of the deck, okay? And I listen. So someone wants to pop up on you. Someone wants to surprise you. Why? Because they had a huge realization and they want to come together or they realize that you've come together with somebody else. Hold up. Yeah. This person could have had a realization that you're in a commitment with someone else or they've had a huge realization that they really want a commitment with you. And this person, wow, this person has been going through a hell of a rocky time in their own life, ups and downs, highs and lows. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Yeah, this is someone that ghosted you and now they want to pop back up, you know, in your life. That's what I'm hearing. This person stay watching you. They stay watching you. But watching you, they have some type of realization. That's what I'm hearing. You could have already came together with someone or they want to come together with Netflix and chill. They want to cuddle, spend time together. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like this person wants to come back in because they're realizing that you're with someone else and this person wants to break that up because clarifying commitment, offer, proposal, detox. It's like this person wants you to detox from one commitment so that they can have a chance with you. Yeah. If that's not the message... The message is this person has had a huge realization by watching you that they want to marry you. They want to be committed to you forever. Yeah. 
They want to provide for you. They want to work with you. Okay? Either or is the message. Because I'm getting a really sneaky energy that wants to break up a really happy home. And then I'm getting a sneaky energy in regards to wanting to compete if you're dating someone because this person feels like they're the one for you. Let's clarify ghosting, okay? Wow. This person feels like they ghosted someone that they could have had it all with. That's the realization that they're having watching you. Watching you at work, watching you online, watching you while at work. This person is realizing that they ghosted someone that's amazing. You're amazing. The realization while watching you. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, that you are not interested. You're not interested because this person ghosted you. They showed you loud and clear that they are not interested. Probably time and time again or one time. And you were like, fine. They regret that. Yep. Yep. They regret that. They regret ghosting you for a come up. That's what I'm hearing because we have come up here. So this person could have got together with someone else that they thought was better than you, but it's not. They're not. And they really want to pop up on you and come back together and offer you a commitment. But you're not talking, dealing, or associating with this person at all. That's what's going on right now. That's the message. Someone that you feel incompatible with you're not interested in is watching you having multiple realizations about who you are and how amazing you are that's that's what i'm hearing it's like they have to admit it to themselves i feel like they already knew how dope of a person you are but it's like they didn't want to admit it they gotta admit it to themselves now um swerve realization swerve Yeah, they know why you don't want to deal with them. They know because they play nothing but mind games. And you are on a paper chase. You are trying to build a better life for you, your children, your future children. Maybe you don't want no children, whatever. You're trying to build a better life for yourself. And you don't have time to play fucking games. So you swerved them. And they know that. This person's not stupid. They just want to get away with what they want to get away with. And you won't allow it. And they want to come up off of you. Okay. Power couple. Clarify power couple. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. <laughs> this person slept on you, boy. And they regret it. This person is smoking, drinking, watching you. Wishing. That's what I'm hearing. That's what's happening right now. Because y'all could have, I'm hearing y'all could have had it all, that song. We could have had it all, running deep, but you play me. This person trying to play you? How you going to play a fucking empress, a queen, a king, an emperor? All because they wanted attention, clout, fame, to be famous? Mm. They could have tried to have some type of power couple with a friend or someone that they chose to be with that's just as codependent and addicted to drugs and alcohol and sex like they are. Okay? And I guess this person thought that they would do big things because both of them were basically, I guess, creating illusions of being like very popular. That's what I'm hearing. Creating illusions. Or stealing from people. To be popular. Or to get a lot of attention. Okay. They, they are coming to a huge realization. That that shit is over. And yeah. Whatever dynamic that they created with this friend. Or this partner. Or spouse or whatever. This shit is done. It's failed. And all of this shit is coming back on this person. And whoever that they were collaborating with in this power couple dynamic. They're both smoking <laughs> and trying to numb their pain of the harsh realizations when it comes to their own life. But the happy realizations when it comes to yours. Right? But also comes the realization that you're not fake. You never were fake. Um, 
coming to the realization that you're not indignant, arrogant, entitled, conceited, or bougie. You're just a bougie individual that just wants better for themselves. But you don't take that, you don't take the money or the status or the fame or the attention, and you don't let that shit go to your head. You are grateful for it. And by using that, you use that to give back and do good things. Like, these people wanted to have you all wrong, and now they're having huge realizations. And they're having a realization that you're with or you're coming together with someone that absolutely loves you. Now, you could be dating someone and this person wants to come towards you. When they thought, I guess, somebody was better fit for them, now they want to come towards you when they ghosted you. <laughs> Netflix and chill, my goodness. Netflix and chill. Yeah, that's over. You are not coming together with this person in Netflix and chilling, having sex, stealing energy. Absolutely fucking not. That's over. Yeah. So this person couldn't put you on hold and stagnate you or keep you waiting. Yeah, no. Man, this person realized they did this shit to the wrong person because you're the total package. You're someone that people should not fuck over. And that's what this person is realizing. Right now, man, they've had multiple signs and synchronicities. They've had tower moments. They've had realizations. But I'm hearing this is like a huge rude awakening, like to where they can't miss it no more. They can't ignore it anymore. Yeah, detached. They can't ignore it anymore. They can't miss it anymore. You don't want anything to do with this person, okay, is what I'm hearing. Even if they did come and fight for you, hell no. But I'm also hearing they can't miss how amazing you are. Like, they can't sit up here and create false narratives. They can't lie on you, man. They can't, like, detach. And even if they do, people will always see the truth of who you truly are. Yeah, you don't want nothing to do with this fucking friend. Friend with benefits, situationship, a friend that, you know, hides that they're married or in a relationship or working together with someone else to steal people's energy, destinies. To, uh, you know, energy drainers, vampricks. These motherfuckers was taught from their parents many lifetimes ago to be fucking vampires. Like, nah, absolutely not. Detox. Yeah. A Karen also was pressed. Okay. Okay, so this person was going to pop up on you. And try to like, you know, bind you or trick you, okay? But these idiots, that's what I'm hearing. That's what I heard. These idiots, these, these people that want to be in a power couple dynamic, whether they're friends, family, whether they are business partners, whether they are, you know, married, whatever. These individuals thought that they were going to pop up, I guess, on you or your person. But they're having a huge realization that you're not the one to be fucked with and you're not fucking with these people. They also had a realization that you already come together with your person and you don't want shit to do with this friend. So any type of commitment, hell no. These people are entitled and indignant and they are pressed and obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> it's like people are having realizations about whoever this power couple is that is hella toxic. Yep. Oh man. So this person that wanted to pop up on you because they've had a realization that you came together and you're in a commitment has also had a realization that they can't pop up on you. You don't want anything to do with them. Now, say if you're dating and um, this person ghosted you, never made you a priority, act as if you weren't good enough. You're not checking for this person. And this person knows that. So they don't know how that they're going to get back into your good graces. But they are fucking obsessed. They are. Yep. Pressed. Yep, they're obsessed and they're mad. I feel like two people here, a man and a woman. Or a couple. Or someone that's single. I mean, each situation is different. Bougie, I clarify bougie real quick. Yeah, this person is so disappointed because you 
have a rich mindset because you are actually a boss babe, okay? You probably hide that shit for this simple reason of people trying to use you. And you're high class. You you have integrity, morality. You're not going to just fall for anything because you don't, you don't just accept anything. Like, and you stand for something. Uh, faded. Yeah, man. This, it's like two people got faded and tried to make a bet on you. And yeah, it's basically blowing back in their face royally. And it's not going to stop either. Nope. Damn, they're being blocked from doing this shit to other people as well. They're being blocked from doing this shit to other people. That's why this person's mad. They have no way out. They're going to have to sit and deal with their circumstances. They can't, you know, try to get a new supply. These, this couple, these, these friends, this family, they, they can't try to get a new supply. They're stuck. Good. Good. Okay? Because these people need to learn, for real. And if you're anything like me, I always say prayers that people get their karma so that they can wake up and heal and they won't do this shit to other people. Because nobody deserves to be beguiled like this. Okay? But yeah, this person mad. <laughs> Why are they so mad, though? Because you're wish fulfillment. Because you are the magic. Because you're blessed. That's why. Because you manifest anything that you choose to want, work towards. Yeah. Because you're blessed, man. Yeah, and they're, they're struck. Yeah, they're going poor. So this person could be in the public eye, but they're going poor behind the scenes because they are toxic as fuck. Let's, let's be real here. Let me keep it a bean. And they wanted to be your third will, but you love yourself too much and you don't have time for this person and their bullshit. Okay? This is pretty much the message, my loves. I mean, anything else you want the collective to know? So you have two people or a couple that are, you know, going through many tower moments, many, many consequences and karma. It's all that they've racked up over the years. And they're realizing that they can't come back together with you. They can't play mind games. You don't want shit to do with them. You are completely detached. You most likely are coming together or you have come together with someone else. And these people are just sitting in their shit. That's it. And the magic, the manipulation, the consequences, the karma. Anything else you want to let the collector know? At the present moment, please. Thank you. Yeah, these people are stuck in the past. Yeah, because you have moved on. And you're not looking back. Yeah, and you're in love. And you have someone that loves you. This person, is love is toxic. This person feels like they love you, but it's toxic. And you, you cool off of that. This person wishes that you would come travel towards them or they can travel towards you, but no. You left them in the past because they're stuck in the past. Yeah. Oh, anything else, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, this person's jaded. Stuck. They have no motive. They don't have any type of energy or blessings because it was all off of you. It was your energy. It was your blessings. It was like they swapped it for a while. That shit came right back because you refused to let someone steal your destiny. Who the fuck do these people be thinking they are? Like, it's crazy. Yeah. You have someone that is appreciating you. You have a special bond with this person. Also, when it comes to, you know, your influence, when it comes to your business, you're going to get a lot of appreciation. You're going to be put in the spotlight. You're going to get a lot of love. A lot of love. Yep. As you moved and you left this person in the past, you gained your power back. And they have what is rightfully theirs. Nothing. Or the life that they were intended to work towards. Mm. This is there. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, 
That's why you don't want this person. You're already being loved up on. You're already being spoiled. You've already come back together with someone or you've already dated or you're taking someone serious. Or this is to come and you know it and you're not going to settle for less. So you're rejecting this person that ghosted you. This person ghosted you and expected, actually expected you to like wait for them and want them. How long did they ghost you for? For some, it could be months. For some, weeks. For others, years. I mean, these people are absolutely delusional. <sighs> absolutely delusional. This person held in for years how they felt and they thought that by making these specific decisions, it was going to bring you back. The decisions that they chose to make behind the scenes, that it was going to bring you back. <laughs> like God is not always watching. I, uh, I kind of get tongue tied or like baffled in these readings because it just amazes me how people really just discount God and discount that they are spiritual beings always watching us. Amen. Yeah, Boy, the devil really be having these people confused and beguiled. All right, one more spirit. Yeah, you're chosen. I can't make it up. Girl, you're chosen. Boy, you're chosen. I love that song. But yeah, you're chosen. You're enlightened. You go against the grain and you're one of a kind. Yeah. This person's like, Sh they knew that though. They wanted to siphon off of a chosen one, yet... Boy, if this person knew the consequences of what the fuck they were doing and when they were, I'm here presented to stop it, when they were even given probably the consequences in a dream, they didn't give a shit. They kept going because we had to stop these individuals or this individual. That's why they're going to suffer mercilessly. No mercy. If they had to stop on their own and had empathy and confessed and apologized, then it wouldn't be as bad. But hey. To each his own. So that's why God made you take a risk elsewhere. Because they will have no way to redeem themselves. Now they can make a way. But that's up to them. And that's up to you if you even let them redeem themselves as far as apologize. But uh, other than that, and you know, God then puts you in a completely different place at a distance from these people. Okay? Yep. Because... You deserve to have your expectations met. You deserve to have someone that is your equal. You deserve someone that is just as loving and chosen as you. You deserve your perfect match. And with coming together, you're going to come together with this person or you already have, babes. I've already come together with mine. I'm trying to tell you. Real twin flames, real higher level soulmates are coming together. Don't be beguiled by the good looks, by the glitz, the glam. The fame, that shit is a fucking distraction, an illusion, right? Uh, we are not perfect. Temptation is also a lesson. Lust is also a lesson that we all fall for. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you and your person or you, y'all have way past that, man. You way past that, man. Y'all have completely grown up. And I feel like this person or these individuals, they don't want to grow up. They just want to just keep taking from people. And it's like, ooh, because these people are heartless, because these people just refuse to see the error of their ways, man, they have, their life is hard and they made their children's lives hard too. I, I love kids. I really do. I feel like adults, they're responsible enough to have the capacity and the discipline to change with children. They are indirectly affected by their parents' bullshit. And I really do feel bad for the kids, but unfortunately the kids will be affected when it comes to these individuals. And they will be. Damn. Anyway, you are chosen. No one can deny it. Okay? You've been through hell and bad. That's another thing. People be wanting to be chosen so bad, you have no fucking clue the harsh circumstances and bad situations that us chosen have went through. Motherfuckers couldn't last a month in the fucking shoes that I had to fucking walk in amongst other chosen ones. Unknown caller. And people 
be wanting to be chosen so bad, but when God puts them in those circumstances, they buckle, they beg. Yeah. So stop trying to take from a chosen one because the consequences are high because of what a chosen one has to go through in order to be able to be the example, to be the light and the dark for others. Let's get some more. I don't know who that is, but I'll pick that up later. Yeah, you and your person, you, you guys are perfectly aligned. Yes. And it's just these other people, this couple that want to come in and start basically talking bullshit, wearing a mask. No. Anything that we should look forward to when it comes to this person that wants to pop up on the collective? Yeah, they're going to try to wine and dine you. So this person's going to try to pop up. They don't give a fuck if you're in a twin flame relationship. This person is miserable. This person's going through karma. This person's life is going through low lows and basically really no highs. Unless it's just like an adrenaline rush of arguments and drama. But I don't feel like it's anything better. And this person needs you to escape. So this person is so fucking desperate that they're still going to come towards you and they're going to be blocked. 2323. <laughs> yeah. They're going to be blocked. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. Because they just want to put you in an entanglement. <laughs> Man, this person is so fucking stubborn. This is a narcissist. This motherfucker is going to learn the hard way. Man. Woo. And it's never going to, I'm saying it's never going to stop. This person is going to go through so many bad situations poverty it's even going to trickle down to their kid or children this is bad this is bad man for a long time all because they want to just keep up this bullshit ass facade instead of just learning and accepting that they fucked up apologizing and being remorseful and changing their ways no this person don't want to like have people see them for who they are man but people are still going to see them who they are. <laughs> I mean, baby, you have someone that's in love with you that's going to basically spoil you and love you the right way. Um, coming towards you or this is already happening. Just watch out for this individual that's trying to come towards you. Okay? Um, the only way they can get in is if you let them in because other than that, you're heavily protected from this person. They can't come into your dreams. They can't astral project. None of that shit. Real quick, how's this person feeling about this whole situation and you knowing about all of this? How's this person feeling that they tried to play you and God still made you come together with your true love twin flame? They tried to make you miserable and broke and yet God still gave you back your power and all of your blessings plus theirs. How does this person feel about this? Like, I be wondering the mindsets of these individuals. Like, how does this person feel about that? They mad shit. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. This person is so fucking mad. Yo, they so mad. This person really want to be violent, but I'm hearing, I wish that motherfucker would. Your ancestors don't play. God don't play about you. But see, your ancestors, you know what I'm saying? They gangster. They gangster. <laughs> I heard I wish a motherfucker would try to do anything to unalive or hurt my baby. Oh, motherfucker, you wouldn't even come. I'm hearing 12 feet. Like, you you wouldn't even... You would... Basically, this person wouldn't even come close before it would backfire onto them terribly. Like, trust and believe that, yeah. Oh, they are so mad that they can't block you no more. Oh, they're mad. How does this person feel that... Their life is fucked. Like, their destiny is fucked. And I keep hearing that. Yeah, this person feels stupid. And it's their own doing. They're surprised, but their emotion is all over the place and they're humiliated. Surprised because they're narcissistic. They're delusional. There's nothing to be surprised about. You go to someone, you don't give them the time of day, you don't give a fuck about them as a friend, a lover, a partner, a potential... You feed them nothing, you starve them, and then you actually think this person's going to wait around for you and crush on you. Who the fuck do people be thinking that they are? I mean, really, like, the ego be just out the fucking roof. Like, it, them, 
bird brain bitches, them hoes be having these motherfuckers' heads gassed up for nothing. For nothing, like, and now this person's feeling stupid. Ooh, child, I mean, yeah, man. Yeah, because who are you want to fucking wait for? Absolutely not this person. You know who you wait for? Your divine counterpart. Okay, your high-level soulmate goddess. This person is feeling stupid that you are a fucking divine feminine. You walk it, you talk it, you are it. Okay? If it looks like a duck, it quacks like a duck, motherfucker, it's a duck. If you hold yourself as a divine feminine, if you speak with elegance and intelligence, you look good, you take care of yourself, you are of love and you spread love amongst other things. You're a healer, a light worker, okay, in your own right. If it looks like a fucking divine feminine, it quacks like a divine feminine, motherfuckers, it's a divine feminine. When it came to you, you presented yourself exactly who you are. Not everybody does this because some people like to cloak themselves because of how ooh, terrible the world is. I get it. God does it too. Like, I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm going to peep game to y'all because I love y'all. Y'all divine counterparts are going to be hidden in plain sight. My divine counterpart was hidden in plain sight because God knows how superficial and just like rotten a lot of these people are. God also knows that a lot of these people are inhabited with demons, with this spiritual warfare. So God hides the divine feminines and divine masculines in plain sight. Why the fuck do you think I don't have empress in my name on my YouTube? I don't have empress because true empresses and emperors have to be cloaked because of motherfuckers like this. Do you understand how many people have went against me in my life that I thought that was for me? All because I didn't even know I was a fucking empress in the beginning. All because I didn't know how lucky I was, even though everything always manifests for me. And especially when I got with my twin, oh, it just amplified. Like people got way more envious and jealous, yet I was oblivious to it. So knowing that fact and knowing real divine counterparts, really, they're not going to have empress and emperor in their name knowing that motherfuckers is coming for them. And that's no shade to people that could definitely be an empress or an emperor that do have that in their name. I, will, I'm, I am giving you the advice from my ancestors to change that because you're putting a target on your head. The reason why I basically went under the radar and was able to link up with my twin because motherfuckers didn't think I was an empress. I don't put that shit in my name. I don't even say nothing. I'm an observer. I'm quiet. I'm a sneak. You know what I'm saying? As far as like being strategic because God helps me. And I'm just using myself as an example, man. I'm not where I want to be financially, but I'm still with my twin flame. You have to stop listening to people and pay attention to your own journey. Okay, and listen to people that are actually on the journey, like me, man. Your twin is going to be hidden in plain sight. When I first met my person, I knew he was it. And he didn't look like no multimillionaire. This man was lost. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I knew. I just knew. And now he, oh my God, I'm so proud of him. Huh? And he's fucking gorgeous. Are you kidding me? He matches my fly. And he's not egotistical, arrogant, boastful, conceited, selfish, none of that. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's like, man, those that become worldly, right? Those that get indoctrinated by society, they start to incorporate society standards with spiritual standards and it does not go hand in hand. It does not. Even though you have to stay balanced within your reality and your spirituality, you know, society has nothing to do with spiritual. I'm trying to tell you, man, your twin is hidden in plain sight, man. And it's, it's, it's it has nothing to do with money. Nothing. And that's where all of these people get it fucked up. And that's why I get on here every day so that I can try to guide y'all the right way, man. 
as best as I can. You know what I'm saying? This person is humiliated that you are a divine feminine, yet you don't probably boast about all your finances if you have it. And maybe you don't have it yet, but you will. Because now you're in this energy, you're manifesting all of your riches and your royalty. Some of you, you had it in the past, and, and because you were so open with it and generous, here comes this person, and they took it, but you got it back. I mean, everybody's situation is different. But uh, I'm trying to tell you, yo, uh, you'll know, man. You'll know. You're not going to be bouncing from here to here to here to here about, oh, this person is that person is this person. You may be confused between two different people because one person is doing magic on you and the other person is actually a person. God kept my, I, I pray a lot and God kept my person in my life in one way or the next to the point where God made me have a baby with my twin so that in this lifetime, we could basically work it out. I'm trying to tell you, pay attention and be careful who you listen to on this platform, please. I'm being honest. I want y'all to be with loves that love y'all. I want y'all to be successful. I, I want to cheer with y'all. Trust me. And we are a collective. So the collective that I am guiding and leading, come on, babies, you got this. I had to forgive my twin had to forgive. You know what I'm saying? And I'm only sharing a little bit of my situation just to relate to your situation, right? A lot of people be like, oh, I don't want twin flames because people that really are not twin flames and people that don't have no clue about true twin flame relationships be trying to guide motherfuckers and they give wrong advice. That's why. And it turns y'all off to the one connection that is so amazing, y'all. Like, my twin is amazing. He is such a beautiful individual. Yet, we are all not perfect. Okay? And a twin flame is not going to do magic on you. They're not going to wish ill will upon you. But we all are learning the lessons of the seven deadly sins. Those are lessons. The seven lessons you have to pass on this earth. Right? So even if you or your twin has fallen into temptation in the past, forgive them. I have. My twin has. We're only human. Right? But I love how twin flame... This, my person allows me to be me. They allow He allows me to freely be me, but to have boundaries and respect for him as well. The way I dress, the way I talk, the way I interact with the opposite sex... You feel me? Like, I want y'all to know that being a twin flame, if you know that you're a twin flame or a higher level soulmate, it's a beautiful thing. And no relationship is perfect. Please. The magic that you will see, the miracles, you just get shit for free. Like, it's just amazing. And it's, it's not just about the things you get for free. It's ah, oh, it's it's the, it's the it's the sex, it's the conversation, it's the the compatibility, it's waking up and going to sleep every day knowing that this person has you wholeheartedly. You don't have to worry about somebody cheating on you. You don't have to worry about drama, chaos. As long as you both stay balanced and communicate and bring peace towards each other to each other. I mean, it's. it's Amongst being supportive of each other, continuously, you know, growing spiritually and learning the necessary lessons. It's beautiful. Like, it's so beautiful. And I just don't want y'all to get swooped up into the 304. I don't need a man. I don't need a woman. Fuck a twin flame. Fuck a soulmate. No. That's what society, that's what the spiritual warfare, that's what the demons and the gens want y'all to do. And I'm here as a light worker, as a real chosen one, to tell y'all to come on. Don't give up. What you want, you will get. Because I am telling you you will get it. And by God, God has blessed me to be a judge. And to basically call judgment. 
And I call judgment that each and every one of you that peer into my channel, that is a twin flame or high level soulmate, you will learn your lessons, you will be strong, you will be resilient, and you will get what you deserve. You understand me? Because we in this together. We in this together. You have karmics, family, friends, exes, lovers, people that ghosted you. All of these people have come to the... It's, it's, it's like they already knew, my loves. But it's like now they can't delusionize anybody else. And they can't tell lies to themselves anymore. They have to accept the fact that you the shit, baby. You are. And you work damn hard to be it. You feel me? And these people are inhabited by demons. Demons that are called... Were, were, that, demons that were meant to cause you a spiritual warfare so that you could see who you are. Right? Same thing with me. I had to see who the fuck I was. Everything that happened awakened me to how powerful I really am, how powerful my twin flame is. Psh, man, it, man, I wish I could just sit on here and, and, and tell y'all. The sacrifice that you have to make is so beneficial. Like following the guidance of God and just making these sacrifices by letting family, friends, the past go. Even if it's hurtful, even if it's disappointing, even if it's disappointing, even if it's disheartening, oh, it is, it's a blessing. It is. And that's what we had to do. Yeah. That's what my twin had to do. It was hard. It was hard for him. It was disheartening is what I'll say. But uh, from the moment I met him, I knew it. But the sad part is is that a lot of masculines don't have support. Um, not from their family, not from their friends. They really don't. And a lot of times the divine feminine has to like kind of take the masculine and give them that, even though they're giving themselves that nurturing, yes, because it starts with them. It's like I had to be what his family wasn't, but he was to me, what my family wasn't. It's just, it's, it's beautiful. I just, I, I'm trying to explain it the best way I can, but I remember like, unfortunately his family just thought he was just a nobody. Like they thought he was dumb. It's just sad. And I, I knew it. I said, oh, you going to be something. Oh, you definitely going to be something. Cause normally that's the black sheep. I'm smart, man. Motherfuckers always try to make, make it seem like I'm stupid because I'm beautiful. I'm very smart. And when I saw him, I said, oh, you going to be... And then everybody else just thought he was just stupid and gullible. But I already knew. I'm strategic. But anywho, I just said all that to, to tell you guys to, to believe in your masculine, man. To give them love. Because they the more you keep pushing forward, it helps them. Communicate with them. Talk to them. Peep game to them. Seriously. Seriously, man. I will, with my twin, because I talked to him, we will tell our story. But I'm, I'm just getting not yet. So I can only give you bits and pieces. But I know that, you know, unfortunately, my person's, fam my person's family, his family, it's like they didn't believe in him. But I did. I always did. Always, yo. Always believed in him. But I'm going to leave it right there. I swear to say, that's it. Don't say nothing else. Um, when it comes to whoever this person is to you, or this couple is to you, uh, yeah. It's, it's, I'm hearing it's too, a little too late. It's a little too late. Yeah. It's over. You already know that this person or these people will come towards you just being nothing but fakes. This person just wants to rebound, okay? They just want to rebound. That's all. It's people that are trying to guide people that are not even where they claim that they are. Please be careful. Seriously. Seriously. As a reader, sometimes the readings will resonate with me so that I can relate to your situation. Um, sometimes it won't. 
But I'm here to always tell you guys, man, what you want, you can have it, man. Please don't be a victim to your circumstances. Please stop worrying. See, the universe wants you to trust the universe. And the more you trust it, the more that you'll realize things will come exactly when it's supposed to for what you're asking for. Love, finances, forward movement, the answer. All right, one more card to close it out. And this is the message, y'all, okay? I just state my situation just to give y'all some hope, okay? Because it is a hell of a, hell of a journey. Like, I just closed a nine-year cycle and broke generational curses for my bloodline. I feel like it is the same thing that you're doing. Closing a nine-year cycle. You finally, like, you're a big deal. You're amazing. There's a privilege to know you, to be around you. For real, I'm getting chills, boo. Yes. Squad in reverse. Okay? You're already, you're already in a uh, beautiful, high-level, loyal, solid foundation. Yeah, when it comes to, yeah, I'm... I, I literally said family. So family, your person's family, your family is out of the equation, man. Because they all chose to come up against y'all instead of being there for y'all. They pretended, but it wasn't real. But it's okay. Y'all got each other. All I need in the life of sin is me and my girlfriend. Down the ride to the very end is me and my girlfriend. A wifey, your husband, okay? But that's it. One more spirit. Yeah. And you guys are going to be in the public eye. I'm trying to tell you. Yep. So either you're posting, you know, you're, you're not hiding anymore. You're posting openly that you're with your person or you guys are going to be in the public eye. Famous. Yep. So you can be the example of what a solid relationship is, loyalty is, love is, you know? The ups and downs, the ins and outs, the imperfections, the perfections. Yeah. 155. This is the reading, babies. Until we meet again, I am proud of you. Um, I hope that when I state my situations, it helps you guys. It inspires you guys. Okay? Because with me, I'm, I've known my twin flame for 10 years now. Yeah. But when I met him, I knew he was it. And that's how you'll know. And God will, you ever look at the movies and you see how people will always kind of link back up to each other when you know it's meant to be like those romantic movies? That's how it is. That's real. Like, that's exactly how it was with me and my twin. Yet the person that was doing spell work on me to make me think of them, I would never meet up with this person. <laughs> I would, it would never be a time where God would have me link back up with this person. Never. But I will always somehow always run into or meet up with my true twin my son's father man it's that's how you'll know like god will not let you forget this person god will do things to where one person that's doing magic on you will never appear in your life versus one person that's for you will always be there somehow some way pay attention y'all all right that is the reading for right now i love you guys until we meet again more information to divulge. Mm -hmm. Bye.